What's up guys? It's been a while. Been uh, about 15 days since my last update. My last upload, my last video. So I think we're gonna take a drive in Wifey's new 2020 Escape. Seems fitting since we're an automotive channel. We're just gonna talk about a couple of things. Where I've been, what the deal is with the Mustang, just life in general. Things are pretty crazy in this country right now, so hopefully all of you guys out there are doing just fine. Let's go for a quick drive and have a discussion been so long since we've made a video it's not due to laziness not really there's just been other priorities going on in life right now that uh where youtube is over the past couple of weeks kind of taken a, a back seat got to get back into it though but hopefully all of you guys had a good merry christmas and you're having a good happy new year we're in the year 2021 now obviously but things are already crazy so like i said hopefully all of you guys are you know doing well so what's going on with youtube so like i said we're going to get back into the rhythm of doing things some content you know last winter we were pretty busy this winter we're not my Mustang is still in Texas right now, waiting on its new built engine from RPG. We're in the preliminary like teardown phase of what we want to do. So there's a few options. Well, there's a lot of options that we could cover uh, as far as engine spec, engine build. We want to be able to push this car heavily in 2021. So I definitely want to build an engine that's capable of quite a lot. But there are different ways to do it. So that could lead to you know some further discussions, some future content, and uh, go from there. But before we get carried away, one of the biggest highlights, one of the biggest some of the biggest news that's going on right now is if you guys don't know if you don't follow me on like instagram or you're not like on my facebook or anything like that then this will be news for you but we are now employed by hellhorse performance to sell car parts this is big news because everything that you guys want send your orders my way now this is not going to take away from any of the promo codes the discounts down in the video descriptions whatsoever those still remain still exist i am still in business with all of those other companies but this is really just kind of probably a long time coming you know getting into the automotive industry of some sort um because you know we want to feed the channel and this is another way to do that i mean honestly you guys watch the channel you watch Mustang channels, YouTube channels, automotive in some nature to, you know, live that dream, build, learn, build, race, so on and so forth. And I really feel like this is a great opportunity to be able to help you. So yes, we can put together video content explaining what we do, this and that. But when it comes to sourcing parts, I think it'd be really cool if I could be able to help you one on one. Yes, there's a little bit of cut that I would get out of it, obviously, but that all goes towards again channel support. We got to feed the beast, you know what I mean? We got to keep things going, and this is just another way to do it. But yeah, selling car parts, that's kind of what we're doing on the side. I wouldn't call it like a full time position or anything like that. I'm still back home remote selling. The way that this works is just send me an email. Um, I'll links down below in the description hook up with me on instagram facebook whatever your method is or just call or text hellhorse performance ask for me alex and i'll be able to hook you up we're selling turbo kits the same one that's on my car if you guys don't know remember if you've missed a couple of videos go check them out i'll link a couple above we have an all new design to the hellhorse twin turbo kit new standard four to one headers standard ceramic code he you know, uses the triple ball bearing comp turbos that are water cooled. We do have an air cooled option, which is really cool. A little bit more money. I run the water cooled myself, but it really neat that you don't have to run oil through the system. It's cooled uh, by your coolant hoses. That's how I've tapped into mine for all of you guys that you know maybe don't know if you're new to the channel. But really cool that I can be able to help you guys through your modding process. You know, so you watch the channel, you live and learn through it and now we can take it up a notch and I can be able to actually help you one-on-one -on -one order your parts some of you guys out there want to mimic and replicate my build specifically uh, there's been a few of you already because it makes so much power for uh, you know not a terrible amount of money um, and it's really cool to be able to work with you guys one-on-one -on -one. so that's kind of what we're doing on the side again if you want 
performance products of any nature doesn't matter if it's a Whipple supercharger doesn't matter really what year Mustang it is anyway I'm having a lot of fun doing it and it's one of the things to be able to it's one of those things that uh, you know we can be able to feed the channel with and then also pay a few bills you know feed the family stuff like that so I appreciate it anyway so that's kind of what's going on there now as far as everything else yeah again engine spec you know we can make future videos about what we want to do do we want to do a crazy 2000 horsepower rated engine build i see here's the thing i don't know if we're ever going to take it anywhere close to like 1500 that's a lot of horsepower but but the thing is it is a twin turbo car and we do have the option to turn it up or turn it down by pushing a button on the boost controller. So we don't have to run around with that amount of power, but it really is crazy that we have been able to push a otherwise stock Gen 3 Coyote to a little north of 1100 with the Hell Horse Performance twin turbo kit and a lethal performance fuel system. I, I highly recommend them by the way, the lethal kit. Now four is a good option too, but I've had just nothing but success from the lethal kit, so that's why I'm gonna recommend. Nothing against four, you know, we love four. Uh, great product, they've been around for a long time, but the lethal kit really is good. It, it, it definitely feeds the horsepower that we need it to, as far as fuel. Let me get turned around here. So I know this is kind of just a, you know, driving around video, nothing extremely exciting, right? But I feel like I owe it to you guys. You know, this is what we do. And uh, I kind of feel like I owe it to you because we did take a couple of week break, like 15 or 16 days or something like that, which is very untypical of, of me, you know, producing something like three videos a week generally in that ballpark per minimum. But, you know, I've been taking it some time to spend with family and, you know, we had the holidays and getting through that and then watching everything on the news, you know, the country kind of falling apart and the transitions that we're going through the tribulations that we're going through this that and the other it's been really scary to watch everything that's been going on politically I'm not going to get into it but I will say that um, I, I, I don't know I, I feel like we're being judged from above for all the wickedness I feel like the whole world is right really um, I really do feel like the world at this point is a sinking ship um, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the lifeboat so you definitely want to jump on board, get to know him. So that's something I've been doing a lot on the side too, is really getting into the word, learning as much as I can, and uh, spending some time on myself, if that makes any sense. You know, that's gotta be priority number one, is, you know, myself, my family, and then my faith with uh, God above. So hopefully you guys understand, you all appreciate that. I understand that uh, the last couple of sentences I've just spoke may lose some subscribers, because we're talking about something you don't want to hear about. But I think that really you should pay attention to it. And uh, it's all true. It's just the truth. End of story, point blank. It is the God's honest truth. So that's just what we've been doing. That's what we've been up to. That's our quick little video or little update is, yes, we have a new job. Yes, we are selling car parts uh, for you. And if you are interested, you know, I really want to make this kind of like a full-time thing. Yes, we're going to do YouTube. That's not going to go away, but I really enjoy selling. I really like being able to interact with all of you guys out there and helping you spec together your build. And if I can save you a couple of dollars along the way, I, I don't want to sound prideful, but I enjoy it. I, I like to be able to help. Pulled over here so we can end the video. But yeah, I, again, appreciate all of you guys hanging out with me, watching the videos. Uh, there's plenty uh, on the channel. So if you're new here and you've made it this far into this particular video, I really appreciate that. I want to say thank you to all of the growth that we've had over the past couple of weeks. We've, we're over 34,000 subscribers and still growing every single day, even though we haven't been posting videos over the past couple of weeks. But hey, everybody needs a vacation and now I've taken mine. And uh, yes, it's going to hurt the analytics over the next probably six months, you know, trying to recover. But it is what it is. You know, we have to focus on the priorities of life outside of social media. But we do have to get back into it. But as far as the Mustang, like I said, it's still a Hell Horse Performance awaiting its new 
built engine I'm so excited we do need to put a roll cage in the car there's a lot of things that are going to be taking place over the next few weeks and by few weeks I probably mean in the somewhat of the ballpark of like six to eight I think is what the turnaround time is on a built engine they're about so we're just gonna have to be patient but fear not 2021 when the tracks open we will be there and we'd be ready to rock and roll. We're changing a lot of things on the car. So, you know, typically every season, every year, something like that, we have dramatic changes. And for 2021, it is no different. The car is going to be a monster. It, it, we have a new twin turbo kit. I have, I, I, I feel so bad. I haven't even been able to drive the car. You know, like the, the past couple of videos, you know, the, the, a few weeks ago, we were up there at Hell Horse Performance. We got to see the car on the dyno with the new twin turbo kit that they offer and the amount of power that it put down. And it was significant. Over the old kit to the new kit, we picked up a lot more power. A lot more power. It's going to feel and drive and, and just... It's going to be insane. Insane. It's going to be like a whole different car, a whole different experience. And I'm really excited to be able to showcase that to you. But, you know, I am I am really itching under my skin to be able to drive the car with its new setup. But when we get it back, it's going to be built engine, all of that. So it's going to be completely vastly new. And I'm really, really looking forward to be able to showcase that all with you. So thank you for watching. Sorry that we took two weeks off. It is what it is. But hey, if you are looking for you know, parts for your car, doesn't matter what it is, hit me up. It doesn't matter if you're looking for tires, wheels, exhaust, any of that stuff. Allow me to help you. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video here very soon. Here very soon. God bless. Have a great day.